why Evan Mobley will win the Rookie of the Year award this year. It's pretty clear that Evan Mobley is a phenomenal talent, and in his rookie season, he had a phenomenal year. He showed a great ability to not only put great statistics up, but also showed a great ability to be a winning player for the Cavs. But quickly before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. But anyways, let's get into it. Evan Mobley was drafted with the number 3 overall selection in this season's draft. And going into the draft, Mobley was seen as a very unique talent. He was seen as a player that was a center slash power forward in size, but had the mobility and capability of crazy things. He had a very nice handle, he had a really nice mid-range jump shot, he had a pretty nice 3 point jump shot, he had the ability to create for himself, he had the ability to play against multiple positions defensively. Overall, he was just seen as a very versatile player and a potentially very special player at that as well. But the one concern and question about Evan Mobley going into the draft was if he was going to be a player that was ready right out of the gates, or he was going to be a player that was more so of a project and would take a little time in order to fulfill the potential that a lot of people saw for him. But I think going into the draft, basically everybody saw Evan Mobley as a very special talent at the very least. And at the start of the season, it was pretty apparent that Mobley was a really talented player and he was playing very well right out of the gates. When you actually look at Mobley's stats on the season, he's averaging around 15 points points per game on 51% shooting, 8.3 rebounds, and 2.5 assists. Now of course those numbers are really really good, but even besides the numbers it's also pretty clear once watching him that he's actually a much better player than those numbers would even suggest, which just shows you the type of player he is and how good he's been playing this year. But let's quickly look at Evan Mobley's game point by point to really describe what he does well and why he's been such a great player for the Cavs this season. So starting with Mobley's 3 point shooting ability, Mobley certainly has a really nice catch and shoot 3 point jump shot. A especially from that corner. Now when you actually look at the percentage that he's shooting on the season, he's only shooting around 25% from deep, so of course that percentage is not necessarily good at all, but when you actually watch him play out there, I think it's more so of a confidence thing, and as the seasons progress and as he continues to work on it, he'll probably be fine, because I think he has a pretty nice stroke from that 3 point range. But talking about his mid range jump shot, that's really where his game thrives. Mobley has a really nice pull up mid range jump shot, as well as having the ability to cross over into a mid range jump shot, sidestep and step back. He also has a phenomenal post turnaround fadeaway within his game, which is very, very great for a player like him due to the size that he is and also the length that he possesses. He also kind of has a floater within his game as well, which is of course very beneficial to a player like that because he can basically create his own shot and put up a nice little floater. But once driving all the way to the basket, Mobley's also pretty talented. He has a really nice touch around the basket and he could finish around players with crafty hook shots, either his left or right hand. Of course, he can dunk over players from time to time. He has a really nice layout package as well where he can finish around players with either his left or right hand of course and overall driving to the basket Evan Mobley is a very talented player overall but even besides Evan Mobley's phenomenal individual scoring ability he's also very versatile in the sense that he's a decent passer and playmaker for his position where if he's getting doubled or triple teamed he's always going to have the capability to kick out to a wide open shooter for a catch and shoot three point jump shot or maybe driving all the way to the basket for an easy dunk or layup and overall his basketball IQ more than anything else is very high and in turn that makes him a really good passer and playmaker at least for his position but also on the defensive side Evan Mobley is known as one of the better young defenders in the league as well due to the fact that he's very mobile and of course is very long as I mentioned before and he just has a great ability to guard positions one through five basically he can keep up with smaller guards with his great mobility and even if he does get blown by a little bit he uses that great length and athleticism to get some nice chase down blocks and of course he can also guard some centers and power forwards as well because of course he's of size and uses that mobility to get in the right positions. And overall, on the defensive side, he's actually a phenomenal defender and certainly one of, if not the best defender in this draft. But probably the most impressive thing to me personally is even besides all the individual success he had and all the individual talent that he currently possesses, the most impressive thing to me personally is the fact that he's such a winning player and when he's off the court, they're actually a lot more likely to lose. And we saw that especially when Evan Mobley was out for a pretty significant amount of time and the Cleveland Cavaliers started to struggle during that 
that stretch, which kind of shows you how important Evan is to this Cavs team. Not only offensively, but of course also defensively. And when you talk about a player that has a type of value that Evan Mobley does have for the Cavs, you're talking about a very, very special talent. And I personally don't think that a lot of people realize how special of a talent this guy is. I think people think Evan Mobley is a really good player, but I don't necessarily think he gets the credit that he does deserve. And honestly, I think there's a few different potential reasons for why he doesn't get enough respect. And I think the first reason is because guys like Jalen Green and Cade Cunningham just had so much hype and excitement coming into the draft. And even once getting into the NBA, their games are just so exciting to watch. And I think that's a huge reason for why they get a lot more credit than maybe Evan Mobley does. But another reason is probably due to the fact that Evan Mobley does put up really good numbers, but he doesn't put up the type of points per game that the other two guys do. And when you just look at strictly numbers and you see the other guys are averaging a lot more points per game than he is, maybe that's a potential reason as well for maybe the casual NBA fan. But overall, whatever the reasoning may be, it's kind of besides the point. He does definitely deserve a lot more credit. But what are my personal expectations for Mobley going forward long term? So as I mentioned before, I think this guy is already a very special talent. And although a lot of people saw him as a project going into the NBA, he's clearly not. And I think due to that fact, he's going to get a lot better, a lot quicker than we even thought. And honestly, I wouldn't necessarily be all that surprised if Mobley was playing at an all-star level, maybe next year or maybe two seasons from now, just due to the fact that he's just such a special talent. And long term, honestly, I think I would expect this guy to be at a superstar type level or at the very least a borderline superstar. I just think he's that type of talent. And overall, even besides Evan Mobley, I'm also very excited to see what the Cavaliers do in long term, because I think currently at this point, they already have a phenomenal roster of young players that are only going to get better as time progresses. When you look at some players on the roster, you talk about a guy in Darius Garland who didn't necessarily have the best rookie campaign, but he was a guy that I was very high on going into the NBA. And although he didn't necessarily have a great rookie season, I was still very excited to see what he can do as the seasons progress. And he's really proven my excitement right this season as he was an all-star this year. And it's just playing phenomenally for the Cavs. And of course, will be a huge part of their long-term success. When you talk about another guy in Jared Allen, I think he's also a phenomenal talent and player that you want to have on your roster. Just a great defender, great rebounder, just the perfect guy to have on a team like this. You talk about Isaac Okoro, he's also a phenomenal talent, great defender. He does some great things offensively as well. And overall, the Cavaliers as a roster is certainly a team that I'm looking for and looking forward to seeing what they could potentially do long term. But the first test for the Cavaliers is actually going to be seeing what they're going to do in this play-in game and after that, what they're going to do in the playoffs. Although the tail end of the season certainly did not go in the direction that the Cavs would have liked because they were playing a lot better at the beginning of the year, I still do think the season is very impressive for them and not something they should hang their hats on. Because if the Cavs are already going to be an 8th or maybe even 7th seed this year very early on, just imagine how good they can be in maybe 2, 3, or 4 seasons from now after they get some other young players that they do draft in that time span, but also due to the fact that all the young players they have now would have more experience and more seasons under their belt to potentially even get better than they are now. But we'll see what happens long term for not only Evan Mobley, but also the Cleveland Cavaliers. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Evan Mobley will win the Rookie of the Year award this season, or do you think it's going to be somebody else? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you did enjoy, check one of these two videos popping up now, and until the next time, peace out guys.